Hi, welcome to my house again. I'm Rachel Davison, this is Heidi and Anna. And today we're gonna to show you how to make tomato rice soup. This is one of our family's very favorite soups. And in the summertime, it's fun to use the fresh tomatoes, onions and garlic from our farm. So let's get to cooking. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to start uh, by chopping up an onion. Now the recipe calls for one medium onion. This is definitely no medium onion. So we're gonna just take a quarter of it and start with that. Let's see where it gets us. We're just gonna take off that outer layer. Um, we don't, you can see how the flesh is nice and white. I'm gonna rinse off that little bit of dirt. When I cut an onion, I cut it into strips first and then when I cut the other way, it just falls into pieces. Straighten it off with my knife and then it's gonna just fall into little squares. There we go. So that looks like the perfect amount of onion. Good job, Anna. In my pot behind me here on the stove, I've got two tablespoons of oil, and I'm gonna add my onions and get them to start sauteing. I'm gonna let these saute for about four minutes or until they start to turn clear before we add our garlic. So we're gonna give that a little stir and let it start to sizzle here. And for this recipe, we need about five cloves. Uh, this fresh stuff is nice and mild. So don't be scared to use a generous amount. And then I'm just gonna smash the whole clove. And after I do that, the peel just pops right off. This fresh garlic smashes so nicely because it's still got a lot of juice in it. And now it's already crushed, so I'm just gonna mince it up like this. So we've got our five cloves of garlic here, uh, prepped and ready to use. Let's check on our onions, and then while they cook, we're gonna chop up our tomatoes. They're starting to clear up a little bit. You can see that they're cooking really nicely. They're getting soft. Let's add our garlic. I've got a small pot of water boiling here, and for this recipe we need three tomatoes. Just medium-sized tomatoes. If they're really big, two might do the trick, but you can't have too few tomatoes in tomato soup. So I'm going to put two of them in the water, and I'm going to let them just be in there for, oh, I don't know, about 30 seconds or so. One way to tell if the tomatoes are ready uh, is to, if I lift one up with my spoon here and I just poke it with a sharp knife, if the skin starts to, like if it's easy, if it pops away easily, let's try the other one here and see what that looks like. If the skin pops away easily, like you're bursting a balloon, see how it just is easy to peel, then we know it's ready. So I'm gonna pull them out and slip them into a little bit of ice water to stop the cooking and they can sit in there for a minute while I do my last tomato. We're gonna peel off the skin and we're gonna chop them up for our soup. But I'm gonna cut them in half like that. I'm gonna roughly chop them up like this. and that's gonna be perfect, they're gonna cook down. Good. Good, so we're ready to add the tomatoes to the pot. So you can see that our onions and garlic are nicely soft, they're cooked down. We're gonna slide the tomatoes in and we're gonna let them cook there until, they're, uh, until it's bubbling. We're gonna open up one can of tomato paste. They're starting to cook a little bit. Once the broth is in, they're really gonna cook down. But now that they're bubbling really nicely, I'm gonna add six cups of chicken broth. If you wanna make this soup gluten-free, all you have to do is make sure that your broth is gluten-free. Um, and if you want it to be vegan, just use a vegetable broth instead of a chicken broth. It's a nice versatile soup. We're gonna bring that up to a boil and add our spices. So one thing we're gonna add is four, four or five bay leaves. These are dried uh, and we're just gonna throw them in the pot. We're gonna add one quarter of a teaspoon of thyme. I didn't have any fresh, so we're gonna do dried. And then these are basil leaves. 
The recipe calls for half a teaspoon of dried basil, but I'm going to use about one teaspoon of fresh basil and just mince it up. The other thing this recipe calls for that's unique is some fennel. You can hear them breaking. We're going to go one way and the other. It adds just a hint of a licorice flavor. I would not say the soup tastes licorice -y, but this adds a really nice dimension. Good, so that worked really well. It's time to add our spices here. So we've got four bay leaves in there. We're gonna add our basil, our thyme, and our fennel. Stir that around, and I'm going to add our tin of tomato paste. Now would also be a good time to add a little bit of salt and pepper. I tend to err on the side of, of not tons at the beginning, and then you can always add more later. So I'm gonna add about a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. And because I used fresh tomatoes instead of canned, canned tomatoes are gonna already have some salt in it, uh, but fresh tomatoes obviously don't. So I'm gonna add a full teaspoon of salt. Take into account also what type of broth you use. If it has no salt in it, you're gonna wanna up it a little bit. If you're using fully salted, then you won't need much salt at all. So let's stir that around and let it come to a full boil. I didn't add the parsley. Uh, that's because it, the flavor cooks out of it quite quickly. So I like to add it right near the end. We're gonna top it up and have it ready to go. And that's also nice to save just a tiny bit of it as a garnish. It looks really pretty in your bowl. Set that aside for when our soup is almost cooked. Add half a cup of rice. And stir it around. The tomatoes are starting to get soft. They're easily squishable against the side of the pot, so they're starting to cook down really nicely. Turn it down a little bit, and we're gonna let it simmer there for about 20 minutes. This soup tastes better and better the longer you let it simmer. It even tastes even better the second day, so if you make lots, it's great leftovers. We've let our soup cook for a while now, so before it's totally done, we're gonna add most of our parsley. I'm gonna save just a little bit for garnish later on. So we're gonna add that and stir it around. It's gonna add a nice flavor to the soup. So here our, our soup is nicely cooked. You can see how when the rice is cooked, the bubbles to totally change, and our tomato pieces are more or less gone and the rice has, has opened up like that. So our soup is ready to eat. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos in the future.